Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. I've got some stuff to do on this police station. I'll do that at a later day. I, I like the police helicopter. I want to put a proper helipad on there. I want to uh, do what we've done on the hospital. You know I said about whenever you do a flat roof, you want to have those sort of... Um, uh, aircon units and lines and stuff on the roof. We need to do that on there for sure. So that's something that I need to to try and remember. Remind me, guys. Comment section below. Remind me in this video, and then when I see it, I'll be able to do it because I'll forget otherwise. Uh, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, someone or oh, over the past few weeks, in fact, you guys have been sending in a lot of pictures to my Twitter account of uh, buildings that you've done on your city. A few of you have sent in some KFCs, and uh, I thought it's about time that we have a restaurant on our city. On the last uh, city that we done, we made we done a uh, a McDonald's. We'll probably have a McDonald's on this one as well, but today I want to try and do a KFC because I've never built a KFC in Minecraft before. It's something that I've never done, probably because it's not quite as um. Not quite as stand outingness as as a McDonald's is. You know, you can see a McDonald's sign, you know it's a McDonald's. KFC, although it does have the KFC white letters, and although it does have the uh, the Colonel's face sometimes on the buildings, they don't stand out as much um, as McDonald's do. And in Minecraft, anything that stands out is very very important. However. We're going to try our best here. We're going to have a go. So, what we're going to want to do is I want to have some black wool. We obviously want to have red. We obviously want to have some quartz for, or maybe snow for white. We're going to want to have some glass. I think probably normal glass would be best for this. Glass. We're going to want to have... I'm looking at some pictures here. So a silver. A silver would be nice to sort of set some parts off. Like... Maybe even that one could work out really well. Um, and a wood. Oak wood. Strangely enough is what, how that sounds. I think that could be quite good. Now, we want to have a drive through and we want to have a little bit of a car park here. So I think this area is probably uh, a good spot for it. Quite near the police station. They might want to have a KFC. And I think what we want to do is first... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the length of a car parking space. So that'll be in there. We can then take out one, two, three, four, five for an entrance that comes in. And I do like it when there's two entrances. I like an in and an out. I don't know why, I just do. So we'll have an out somewhere up there or somewhere up here. Not quite up there. Somewhere up here. I don't know where yet though. And let's say we had... One, two, three. That would be where the line would be. Like, this would be filled in. But that would be stone, obviously. I'm not going to worry about it for the moment, though. So we'd have one car park there, or one, one space there, and one line there. Oops. One line there. That gives us two spots. I'm going to do another one for three spots down here. And then that gives us some spaces to have one, two, three, four, five, six down there. So then you can drive around the top. We're going to want to have five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Before the building starts. Which will be about here. It's pretty in line. I can move it one block. No, I'm going to leave it there. Fill that in. And have that coming down here. So you can drive around there. Wonderful. That's pretty good. So we also though want to drive it a uh, drive through very important to have on any fast food restaurant You want to be able to drive through if you're uh, in a rush and you don't want to sit in there So let's change this from being the in to the out and then we'll have the in somewhere over here You can drive in to the car park or continue on through around the back of the KFC where the drive through will be. And then you'll be able to come out somewhere there, even. Yeah, so that's the out for the car park, and then the out for the drive through would be there. That sounds pretty good. We want to have a nice, decent sized path, so a minimum of two. We've done three paths, uh, three blocks wide for the hospital, but I think two blocks for the KFC would be decent. Otherwise, you end up filling up a lot of room with just paths, and it's not as nice. Then the building starts. So what we want to have is I want to ha this to be a little bit more artistic, a little bit more modern than a lot of other restaurants. 
So we're going to go with some black here. And this is where a big window is going to be. I'm thinking something like one, two, three, four, five block high window, too high. Oops. Four blocks high. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. So the, there'll be glass all up there. And then we want to have a smaller window around, oops, around here. Like this. Yeah. I'm thinking about taking that pillar out and having the glass sort of wrap around it. I'll leave it like that for the minute. Then I want to have some oak wood. But that means I want to bring this back, actually. I'm going to bring this back by one block. Take this out, then. Uh, the, <laughs> the wool still throws me off. This black wool is actually um, oak planks. Uh, no, not oak, birch planks. Because birch... Uh, I don't know, I can't remember why i done it, but birch planks are the texture of black wool, and black wool is the texture of birch wood. I don't know why I swapped around. I swapped around for a reason. There will be an actual decent reason behind it. I just can't remember what it is at the moment. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back to me halfway through the episode. So, we're going to have this sort of modern wood look come up here, and then around the edge here. And this is where we're going to write KFC. It's going to be difficult. We know that it's not easy to do text in Minecraft. But uh, what we're going to want to do... I want to get trying... Like... How are we going to do a... Like, that's a good C, right? C is no problem. You can do C pretty much any shape that you want. A K is a little bit tougher. Yeah. But then the F is even harder. See, an F would be... Like that, on this scale. But that's the only scale that we have. If I do the text, the perfect size for text is... is 7 by 5. The most common one that I use is 3 blocks wide, 5 blocks high. But that makes M and N very difficult to do. Uh, this is a 3 by... Th 3 by 3, really. So that should be back here. If we want all of the text to be... The same width. K. Uh, FC. And then this is K. So each layer is 3 by 3. That works out pretty well. You can read that that says KFC. And once we get the red. And you know the, the rest of the colour scheme in. I'm hoping that it will be even easier to tell. If you do the letters too big. It doesn't look right, does it? It looks the letters will look way too big for the size of the building. Um, it'll be over and cumbersome and 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 take up too much attention away from the rest of the building. So you want to you want to sort of the, try and balance it out, you know, of of being able to read it and being to scale of what you want. So there's that sort of modern wood look around the side. We want to have. I got some pictures of some KFCs, like I always do. I always try and sort of research into what I'm building first. And uh, I got some pictures here. <laughs> They're all very, very different. There doesn't seem to be a, a layout. McDonald's has a sort of definite layout, and each McDonald's has a specific color for you know their franchises and 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 for their buildings. And in fact, McDonald's buildings are basically like flat pack buildings. Um, we've had two. Well, I've had two being built somewhat near me um, in my lifetime. One uh, a while ago, a uh, few years ago back now. Uh, but then most recently, there's been one built in my nearest town. And they were both built in exactly the same way. They're actually really cool. They come um, in... You know when you buy something from Ikea or from um, Argos, like if you're in the UK or something like that, and they all come flat packed? It's exactly how McDonald's comes. And uh, they, they literally unpack them out of the box and like one box will have a wall in it and the next box will have the door in it and the next box will have the roof in it. And, um, and they just put them together like Lego pieces. You know, they just like lift the walls up and put the roof on top and it's done. And that's how why they can get these buildings together so quickly so fast they can come together because uh, they're all pretty much built from the beginning it's quite weird really cool though so let's have a red section here this would be where the colonel's face would be on obviously 
I don't think that um, we can build the Colonel's face in perfect scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by seven, that sounds about right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're not going to be able to build the Colonel's face in a seven by seven area, are we? Um, no matter how good you are at pixel art, there's <laughs> not a good chance that you're going to be able to pull that off and make it look really, really cool. But let's have this coming up here. Somewhere about there, maybe not quite that high, not 100% sure yet. Then I want to have this grey line, or this silver line, going across there. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how it lines up with that wood. I would rather it be one block back. Maybe even fold up and around. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do it like that then. Fold up and around. That way, it's always one block in front, or, you know, at least one block in front of the wool. Um, but it doesn't line up with the wooden part of KFC. So we'll fill this in like this. Then what I want to do is I want to have a snow section above it. Um, how am I going to do this? Is this going to be wood like that? And have the wood two blocks thick? Yeah! Let's try that. I say I never built a KFC. I've always wanted to build a KFC in Minecraft. But I've never sort of had the... There's a lot of buildings that I want to do, but I just don't have the confidence, you know, the guts to do them. Because I know um, you guys are very, very honest. And I love that about you. You're very, very honest about what you say. If you don't like something, you do let me know. And um, I appreciate that. 99.9% .9 of the time, I seem to get it right. And you guys seem to like what I build and uh, and have no problem. There is that little time, though, that you guys don't, and um, I know about it. <laughs> you guys let me know about it. So I think three blocks. That gives us one block um, lower than the wood. And this is just for detail. This, you know, this is just for aesthetics. This is no real reason uh, to why it's why it's here. Just for just for looks. Just taking like little bits of other KFCs and putting them together. So that comes like that. The red would come back here. Something like that. And that gives us the front of our KFC. Obviously, it doesn't look that great at the moment when we haven't got windows in and the paths and the driveways and stuff like that and drive through. But let's do the drive through. So, well, we should probably do the rest. We should probably work out the size of the building further. We should have enough room for the drive through. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's have black here. And we want to come back. This is going to be where you order your food. So we're going to have to have something like a wall, cobblestone wall. Uh, like that and like that. And one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do it like that. Then I'm going to go with... I want like a darker block, like a cyan clay. Perfect. Cyan clay. This is going to be the intercom that you speak into. So you talk into that. Oh, can I have uh, a 10 piece bargain bucket? Yeah, something like that. This video is not sponsored by KFC, by the way. <laughs> and then you want your advertisement boards of what you're going to, of, of um, like things that you might want to buy. So we probably want like red wool and white wool. I'm d using wool so it doesn't blend into that as much. Uh, so we'll have white. And I could probably move that over by one actually. Gets it off that, gets it away from that touching that building part there. So like that, so that'll have some advertisement stuff on it. And we'll have the same on this side. So when you're driving through, if you don't quite know what you want, it's always nice to sort of have... Um, some options, you know, on the boards there. And then you, you order there. And then you'll drive around the back of the building. Something like that or that. Now, you drive around there. And then this is the back of the building here. So let's drag this back a little bit. Drag that back a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Fill that in. There's going to be no windows here. I'm thinking that's a lot of black. I know that's a lot of black, but you don't want any windows in the area that's going to be 
that they're going to be ordering. This is obviously going to be where the kitchen is and um, to be able to cook all the food. We'll have to sort of bear all of this kind of stuff in mind. And then we want to be able to pick your food up somewhere here. So we do want a window in here. Like that. Where you, where you pick up your food. Maybe if I used some snow just to make that stand out. Breaks up that black a little bit as well, doesn't it? That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. And then we'll have a black line. There's usually there's usually two or three to be fair, isn't there? But we're gonna do two. So we're gonna have another one here. And like that. Put those in. So there's two windows that you can pick up your food from. I suppose depending on how busy they are, um, it sort of changes. And then we probably want to go back to some red. Yeah, we'll change up the colour a little bit. And these windows are one, two, three, four blocks high of glass. One, two, three, four, four blocks of glass. And they, well, it doesn't really matter on the size. Three or four is usually a good number. So we'll have that up there. And then we'll have another one. And then we'll have another one. And then we should probably come out again with some black now. Like, uh, make this window longer, bigger. Well, it's dead in line with that one, so we might as well make this window exactly the same as the one that's over there. And then have this coming along here. Now, let's see how much room do we have on the inside. Do we have enough room? Hopefully we do for, for everything. So we'd have kitchen up the end here. This area is all kitchen. And then you can have the, uh, what is it, serving area desk along here. Have a few chairs and yeah, perfect. That's plenty big enough. Plenty more room than what we need. Okay. Um, that's there. Hmm. See, I'm going to have to have this connected to that. No, no, that's, no. It's got to be like that. I don't like it when it joins up to that wood. But we can make it work. We'll, we'll make it work. Yeah, no, no, it'll be fine. So then this one's around here. I always make things work. I always I always get it exactly how I want in the end. And we'll have it around here. And oh, and then that goes to the red so it stops there. Beautiful. We then want the three layers of white above. Uh, I could probably do this quicker, can't I? One. Oops. Uh, set to snow blocks. Now it'll speed up. That one. To that one. And that one. To that one. Boop. And around here. This is easier with ha by hand. Oh, I'm one block short. <laughs> No, it's quicker to do it by hand. Sometimes well that it's quicker, sometimes it's not. It's just... <laughs> by hand is, is, is going to be quicker for this. Otherwise, I'm going to keep getting things wrong. Doog, 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 doog. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, now, the red section... This all depends on how, we, how high we want this to go. That's way too high. I think that's a pretty good height. Up to there. And then fill this in. Now this has to be quicker by World Edit. 159.14. Remember that number, guys. Tell me what it was. What was it? 159.14. Set to 159.14. Beautiful. That one. To this one. That one. To this one. And that one. To this one. Wonderful. Like the hospital, I'm going to put a white layer around the top here. Again, it's a good uh, a good way of uh, transitioning between the wall and the roof. And I think we're going to use the same roof block as we did on the hospital as well, which is replace air with 44.6 in like that. Uh, everywhere else should now be all at the right height. We should be able to go from there to there, from here to there. From here 
to there. Sort of build this all up together nicely. Making sure not to get anything wrong. Beautiful. That's pretty nice. And then we want these full blocks here for the top parts. And another one. I always like doing two. Always do, whenever you're doing these lines, do two next to each other. And whenever you're doing the aircon units, I always do them two blocks high. Like that. And then we'll have a sort of uh, one over here facing the other way. Maybe a little bit shorter. One, one, two, three, four, five. That sounds about right. Again, always do two of them. One never looks good on its own. And then we'll do another one of these. So then that just sort of adds that little bit of detail to the top. Um, just makes that stand out just that little tiny bit more. Can I get a KFC face in here? Now, I retextured myself chicken to look... Oh, cooked, cooked pork chop. I, I, I retextured to look like um, KFC. Probably should have done the chicken in the end, actually, shouldn't I? What is chicken? Raw chicken. What's cooked chicken? Steak. Sandwich. Pumpkin pie. Cooked chicken. Oh, I made... I made chicken. Oh, I think I've done that because of how much food it gives you. Yeah, yeah, it was set up that, not for what it was before. But yeah, I made this, which looks like the kernel on the front for the pixels. It's only like five pixels tall. Can we do that, though, in Minecraft? Can I grab this black? Now, can we try and get a kernel... A very, very pixelated. We're not going to be able to say, oh, that's definitely the kernel. Um, but can we get it to look somewhat like it? Like on the KFC bucket, you don't, you can't see the kernel, but you can sort of see it's there. So we have something like that. Something like that. Something like that. And I'm just sort of adding, wherever there's a lot of black... I'm adding the black. Wherever there's a lot of white, we'll be adding more white. Uh, but basically, it's going to be more like um, more like an impressionist picture than um, than being able to see what it is. If it doesn't look good, I shall take it down. If I don't like it, it won't be staying. But it's so tough to do. See, that's close. That's actually surprisingly close to the kernel that we can do on that scale. It's like a really pixelated version of it. Um, like his bow tie, that's where his glasses would be and his hair on the top. It is very, very tough. I'm, I'm really not kidding, kidding myself and saying that it's perfect at all because it's just not. It's getting closer, though. That might be as close as we can get. And I, you know what? It's not that bad. It looks like a jellyfish. All right? I got, like Kentucky Fried Jellyfish here instead of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, but it's not too bad. I don't like the three lines that go down here. Maybe that one should be black and that one should be white. That's as close as I'm ever going to get to it on that scale. And I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I would love to have a outside seating area. There's always a few seats outside. But it's so tough to try and fit everything in. Let's start with putting down stone here. Set that to stone. That's where you come through. In fact, we might as well set all of this to stone over here. Yeah, um, we'll have some nice sort of greenery up there. I think will be perfect for that. And there as well. Ooh. Lag spike. Now, we need a way in. And I want some seating. We can have the way in here. This is nicely in line. From there to there. So that's the way in. You can go straight onto the drive through or you can turn right to go into the car park itself. Then what we can have is... Is this the right one? I bet you it's not. No, of course it's not. That one. 
three, four, five, six. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down this one. I just oh sneeze. Whew. I'm okay. I'm alive. <laughs> They're gonna kill me one day. I know. I'm gonna sneeze and I'm gonna die. <laughs> and these down here, they sound really weird. I know they do. I don't. I don't have a manly sneeze at all, do I? Okay, have we got enough? I could make this area outside seating, couldn't I? Even if I put like one. Oh, wrong one. One here. Fit another one in there. Oops. That's so annoying when I do that. Drives me nuts. And then this area can be outside seating. If I can somehow fit it to go on top of a slab. Like this. I mean, it's definitely big enough. There's only like usually two seats or so anyway. And uh, you want enough room to be able to get out. So I think we should probably take that one away. Okay. How many blocks do we have in the middle here? One, two, three, four, five. You know what would be you know what would be better? It's moving this the whole building back by two blocks. If I move the building back by two blocks, it'll make things a lot easier. So let's do that. We'll go from here, which grabs all of the bottom blocks, and then we want to go. It will. It'll, I'll leave that bit out, and then up to here. I'm gonna jump down here. I'm gonna cut it. Move one, two blocks over. Paste. Okay, so we've moved the whole KFC back by two blocks. Mostly because what I want to do is I want to add a bigger path here. I want some rails. You always have rails going around the front of a fast food restaurant. I don't know why. Uh, but you always do. So maybe we can change this front block to something better. Even if it's a stair. Let's have a look at some stairs. Um, we could even use the, the andesite ones that we have here. It works. It works. Doubles up as a curb, and it gets us up to that full block height, which will then allow us to place uh, rails down on top. Not rails. Um, iron bars. Sorry, on top of. We don't need to do them all either. I might change some of those back to slabs. I'm getting some ideas now. So something like that. See, that looks cool already. And then have this going back here. And just down there, just for the sake of it. I can have this going around here. Now we want a hole where the entrance is. Iron bars. Item bars. Iron bars. And we're going to want to have... These don't join up to cobblestone walls. That's such a shame. Oh, I suppose we could still do... We could still mix it. I want that there. One... Oops. One, two, three. No. Like that. One, two, three, four, five. Take these bottom ones out. Replace them back with slabs. Does that look pretty cool to you? I think that looks pretty nice. And then one, two, three. I might as well do... F no. No, I'll keep it to the number. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops. So every three blocks we're having a, um, a stair. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then that sort of back one will work. That'll, that'll fold around there nicely. 
Now, is there anywhere else? Obviously, we want really more than one entrance, wouldn't you? We could have an entrance at this end as well. So I'm going to wrap this around here. And wrap them over the top of that. Over the top of this one. This one can be an entrance. That's going to be blocked up here. That's an entrance. And then this is going to be all wrapped in around the side here. Wow, we're over time. I did not realise. <laughs> okay, that's all we've got time for this episode, guys. We shall finish this KFC next time. I got so carried away, I lost track of time. That's unbelievable. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. I like that kernel on the side. It's, like, it's growing on me. We shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye!